Good day and uh, welcome to the first of my three tutorials on um, blues harmonica. These uh, tutorials are kind of aimed for people who just want to play by themselves, like in a forest or an abandoned warehouse or just at home or um, in, a, in a situation. Obviously, you can apply these situations in a band scenario as well. But um, this came to me because I have my good friend Jonathan Stanners um, asking me um, basically if you could provide him some inspiration for um, playing some blues harmonica. Uh, a lot of you out there might have tried your hands on playing harmonica for, uh, for quite some time. Life gets in the way, uh, you put the harp on the, the shelf. And um, this is uh, for those people who've kind of gone past the gone past the beginner stage, if you will, and are in the kind of intermediate phase and can't really move forward or don't find the inspiration to move forward. Um, so if you find yourself, uh, you know, in a Spanish little villa and uh, want to take your harmonica out, this tutorial is for you. All right. So, uh, what we're doing here is uh, we're doing a little Walter tune. And I've chosen um, a tune called Mellow Down Easy. I had a huge a little Walter period in my, uh, my life when I started playing harmonica. Um, Big Walter, Little Walter, uh, George Harmonica Smith, um, you know, all the, all the kind of great ones, uh, which gave me motivation. So um, yeah, so let's just get started, right? So this um, little Walter uh, was the harmonica player for Muddy, Muddy Waters a blues band for um, quite some time, um, and um, he had a solo career, and he released a whole lot of material that uh, is really, really inspiring as a as a harmonica player. Um, you know, some people would say it's quite repetitive um, because blues is repetitive. But he had some inspiration and he had a lot of creativity. This tutorial uh, will feature three things, right? We've got the, the, rhythms, uh, the rhythm section. Um, that's kind of in two parts, two different types of rhythm sections. And then there's like a single note section whereas there's a little solo a bit within uh, within the phrasing and then the singing bit right, those are the three things and then we'll talk about how to incorporate everything into into one right so basically um, to get into the groove it's a good idea to always kind of tap your foot right, right. Just, just to Keep the groove going and it's a little bit more. If you have a tambourine, tap the tambourine or tambourine and the foot, you know. Whatever. Um, Alright, so if you've heard, go, go and listen to this song if you haven't heard it. Like, this is my, my interpretation of it. So, what we got is. all it is right um, so you kind of set that nice little groove there going um, for a little while um, this little section isn't that hard it's basically just so you're just working on um, one and two the whole one and two right start with the one draw and then go to the number two draw And then you you bend them to it, and then back to two, and then you bend number one. That should be like. And a little bit of a few notes here and there. Just basically uh, open your mouth a little bit on these, and then try and do a little bit of a chord, and then. Close your mouth a little bit and then try and get the single notes uh, as well uh, in, a, in a kind of combo, right? So open. And then you 
you can do a little effect with your hand here on the on the on number one draw. Right, so you got. So that's uh, number one, uh, section number one. Uh, rhythm part A, let's call it that. Section number one, rhythm part B, uh, is uh, this, which kind of mimics the verse. Right? And for that one, uh, we're looking at number two draw again. In fact, it's a blow first and the draw. Right? And then you have on number three and kind of four that uh, you do a little whale with a, uh, if you can incorporate the bend on that one as well. Right? Slide down in a, in a draw, a draw slide down to number one. So it'd be like, right? And then you end that uh, with a blow on number one. So it'd be like, Again to number two draw. So, right? so um, don't worry about the nuances when you just get started. Just um, focus in on getting it tight. You know, not losing in a beat. Um, just basically going. So you got uh, rhythm part uh, one A and one B. The first one was like, right? and uh, the next one was, right. So you. You have you use the one A, kind of as, as an um, as an intermi intermission. I was gonna say, but you know, like an instrumental thing um, between verses. If we're thinking about doing a song out of this, you got the rhythm part one A, um, right? And then uh, you, you can you can sing the rhythm part one B instead if you're into that kind of thing, right? If you don't want to sing it, you play it uh, instead. So it's up to you. But yeah, put those together. And then um, you've got the turnaround on this. So this is, this is not a standard blues, as it were. It's more of a, uh, an alternate, alternate um, blues. Right? So you've got the groove, 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 and then the turnaround comes along. Um, to turn everything around, thing around, and then you just start over again. But it's so... Uh, rhythm based, you know, you gotta get in that swing, the groove. Right? And you can imagine having some nice drums go, you know, behind that, and the bass comes in. If you have the means for that. Uh, right, <clears throat> turn around a bit um, after this. So let's say you do the verse phrasing, which is. Um, The turnaround bit. Alright, so now we're dealing with a bit of a single note action here. Alright, uh, that's to mimic the you melt down easy when you really want to blow your top. Um, and then it kind of just go, goes back into the rhythm after that. So I will demonstrate. 
um, putting the uh, rhythm A, 1A and 1B together and then coming in to the uh, turnaround, right? Yeah. Now uh, the two rhythm parts, and we got the turnaround. So that, that's all you really need for the song. And then uh, you can throw in a little bit of a more high energy solo. Um, you know, that's a little bit more of an improv thing. Uh, I'll show you uh, like a, a solo that you can possibly use um, to mimic the song, right? Um, I haven't um, done any research exactly what Little Walter does in the song. Just use the basic uh, phrasing that he's using and you know making it into whatever you want. Um, so for the solo, um, let's take the solo from the start, right? We have a little, um, let's call it a run. Um, we have a little run on the harmonica up to the, the a little bit of a higher note because the phrasing is really important. So you kind of in blues, right? You you, you want to be dynamic. You want to you want to take it down or you blast it out. And you want to you know, up and down, feel in emotion, you want to feel a lot of emotion. Um, so, you can do what a lot of um, players do, uh, both, uh, you know, guitar or harmonica or any kind of instrument, do uh, a simple run. Right? And then... So, it's basically starting on number two draw. And then going into number three draw and a blow four, right? And a draw four. Um, and then the draw four again, so it's like, that's the kind of run, right? So you can just work on the speed on that. Right? So what you do is then, when once you've got that little single note, you kind of open your mouth a little bit, and get a nice chord going, so it's bit more feel to it, like little whale thing, see what I'm doing? And then go back into that um, the draw whale and then kind of slide down on single notes instead. some vocals as well. Uh, if you're into singing um, by your lonesome or in a group, um, just jamming along with your harp or, you know, and blasting it out. So what we've got here is little Walter's Melodynamics. Go down, check it out. Um, there's a few verses. They're very similar. Um, I'm just going to do one verse for the sake of uh, demonstrating. Uh, right, so we've got the groove here, right? And then I'm going to sing the verse and then when the phrase it's kind of finished, try and do something on the harmonica to fill the, the empty space. 
right? Doesn't you know, preferably something rhythm or maybe a little riff here, or riff there, right? Uh, at your discretion, uh, whatever you feel like doing at the time. I'm just gonna try, you know, if you run out of options, mimic me by all means. But what we've got the groove here, right? <laughs> You shake, shake here. You shake, shake there. You shake, shake, shake yeah. everywhere. Then you mellow down easy. You mellow down easy. You mellow down easy when you really want to blow your top Right, uh, good luck with everything, um, try putting everything together if you've got any problems, I'll be happy to answer any questions. Uh, just post a comment. And uh, I guess I'll see you for the next lecture, um, which will probably be a some sort of Muddy Waters tune <laughs> and uh, a little Walter-style harmonica again. All right, but yeah, check out WM Dual Sweden for any uh, more of my stuff and more tutorials. Um, we've got a duo going and also we'll do some guitar stuff uh, for you. So yeah, good luck, catch you later.